Okay, let me cut through there. This is good. I was actually a little bit worried that we were going to get trapped. I think I just destroyed 90% of the level. Actually, no, that was... That's a far cry from 90%, which is pretty good. Okay. Uh, but so, I don't know. I might actually be starting a Monster Hunter series fairly soon. I don't know how many people even know about Monster Hunter. I've actually got, like, the first 15 episodes filmed. I want to say 15 episodes of uh, the third one. And I might actually just start streaming that as, like, a binge thing. Because one, one thing is, like, once I actually can manage to get a bit of a backlog, and I think tonight is... Tonight actually allows... Uh, has gotten me, like, two or three episodes worth of... Uh, two or three episodes worth of every single game I've played. Uh, which is, I mean, amazing. Um, okay, let's just get over here for the hole, because there's also a lot of money... And I can drop down without having to worry about, you know, dying. Because the one thing I can't do, dig very well. Which kind of sucks. Uh, let's see, is this going to help me at all? Well, that's going to help me in one one damn good way. But, um, probably means I can, like, sit down and, like, uh, binge and stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, a new Monster Hunter did, get, did just get announced for the 3DS again. Uh, so it, it seems like for the time being Monster Hunter 3 is about the only Monster Hunter I'm gonna be able to re record up until I decide to spend a comical amount of money just to be able to record 3DS games at some point I will get there at some point I absolutely will just sit down and spend that money uh, but for the time being it's not exactly worth it for me to do so hello you you are terrifying and very aggressive but it works out. Wow, we we are swimming in money. Hopefully, hopefully we can find a shop soon. Uh, but no, a new Monster Hunter just got announced for the 3DS, and that, that's part of the reason why I'm thinking about it so much. Because it's just like, it's it's an RPG that requires you know careful planning, thought, execution, and skill. Like it's a huge skill-based game. Um, I think it could be a little bit more responsive than it is. Like it does make me pine for Dark Souls level of combat a little bit. But it's got, like, some of the cooler weapon mechanics I've, I've ever seen. Like, my favorite two weapons are the charge charge axe and the... Or the, the switch axe and the charge blade, I think it's called. Uh, the, the switch axe, you can switch between being, like, this giant axe thing and a sword for even more, like, ridiculousness. And the, uh, the charge blade has... I don't even understand how it works. But whatever it does, it does amazingly well and is really fun to use. Um... <clears throat> And you end up doing, like, crazy town damage as, as a result of it, too. I, I really enjoy... Wow, yeah, I do get a massive damage boost from this. I'm just going to start digging down. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to leave the level. There we go. Let's see. Ooh. Well, let's not dig ourselves out of this level, because we want to farm a lot of money. Hello. What did I get you? Oh, I just leveled up. Okay. I was wondering, like, did, why did I just explode? Also, speaking of explosions... Um... Please just tell me I can buy all of these things. Okay, can't buy all of these things. Can come close. So now at this point, we're going to be able to afford every shop just because we've got seven resplendent vials and a bunch of black hole boxes. So effectively, as long as it's on the level, it's uh, it's mine. Which is damn good. Or, I mean, we're, we're getting very close to the, uh, the point where that is truth. <laughs> look, at all, look at all that stuff pile in. We're still pretty underpowered in our survivability is on, on the limited side, but I can deal with that, and I can deal with that pretty easily here. Kind of hoping I could get just a little bit more money so I could afford one more, but not the end of the world. Okay, uh, but so... But the other cool thing about the Monster Hunter series, and like probably my favorite thing about it, is unlike most other you know methodical RPGs, Monster Hunter is very focused on the idea of like cooperative multiplayer. And in life, I think there's nothing I'm more disappointed by than the idea of, like, grouping up with other players has been relegated to MMO and MMOs only. So, like, Dark Souls and Demon Souls and Bloodborne, they have co-op in them. They actually have some of the best co-op I've ever played. Unfortunately, they are trapped behind the most obtuse style of grouping system I have ever seen or played. And it makes me really sad whenever I want to play... Dark Souls 1, especially especially because, I mean, we tried this uh, the counter day before I went on vacation. And effectively, Jesus, he was taking loads of damage and he just was not dying. Um, but, I mean, we tried this the counter day before 
before I left on vacation. And it just, no matter what we did, we could not connect to each other in multiplayer. And it's just like, well, this is a nightmare and a half. Um, and it, I mean, it was really sad because it's like Dark Souls 1 is probably my favorite, one of my favorite games. Um, but it just, it's super non-functional. And honestly, I think the new patch uh, borked performance really hard. I think I have to reinstall it to get it to work right. But even then, I don't know, no promises. Um, but like... I, I love the idea of, you know, endless boss fights, methodical targeting. Uh, you, you really have to plan where you're attacking, how you're attacking. Uh, Monster Hunter 4 introduced a new mechanic where you can actually leap on monsters' backs to, like, stun them and stuff. It's cool. Um, and the idea of, like, doing that with friends is even cooler. Because, like, playing it by myself is, I mean, it's entertaining. But it's it would be infinitely more fun if I had, like, a, a well-oiled machine, effectively, as, as like, a, a group to work with. And, you know, hunt with and stuff like that. And, um, so, I mean, starting a series on it will be solo. And hopefully some people that actually pick it up along the way to, to play with. Because that's going to be fun. Uh, kind of owing in the same, uh, same logic. Uh, probably going to be starting Dungeon Defenders and, like, oh god, so many other, so many other co-op games. Infinite co-op games. Um, but Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter and Dark Souls actually going to be some some of the ones that I, I just really want to get like a long-lasting series on so I'm probably gonna start solo and just start kind of prepping for multiplayer because I think that will follow suit within the next month or so once enough people uh, finally pick up the game come to think of it uh, let's see uh, don't have the ring well there's 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 no there's no ring in Dark Souls one there's, there's uh I mean, there's Sun Bros, but there's no, like, co-op ring, unfortunately. That's actually part of the reason why I say Dark Souls 2 is probably my favorite, just because it actually works. Uh, and stuff like that. But, no, Mo Monster Hunter is a lot of fun. It it takes a lot of getting it used to, and it's... Unfortunately, it's made for lower-end platforms, so it's one of those where it's like, you could have, like, this absolutely gorgeous world... <gasps> no. And nobody would ever know. Okay, I can't believe I just lived through that. That is ridiculous. Okay. Oh, that is ridiculous. Uh, but no, the, the Monster Hunter games are still very beautiful. I just really would love to see a Monster Hunter game truly made for, like, honestly, high-end gaming PCs and PS4s and, like, the Xbox One. They make the, uh, they make Monster Hunter for handheld because it sells best on the 3DS of, uh, all places, but I would love to see, like, just absolute top-of-the-line Monster Hunter at some point. I think it would be an absolute joy, uh, to see and play, you know, extremely high-definition Crazy Town Monsters. Okay, but, uh, no, that, that'll probably be a series soon. And, luckily, most Monster Hunter missions, at least earlier on, are fairly short. So, uh, for the people that wanted, like, shorter episodes, that might actually be a good uh, option. What about um, Path of Exile? I assume that's Path of Exile. Um, I, I would also really like to get a group of people for Path of Exile. There's actually a fairly large number of co-op games that I want to get groups for. Path of Exile is one of them. I was actually, I would really like to do a, um, a Diablo <coughs> series at some point. We were trying to do Diablo 1 at one point, but that had just hideous connection issues and nobody was set up for it and it was a nightmare. Um, whoa. Okay. Um, but so that, that was rife with its own issues and kind of a nightmare to do. Uh, interesting nonetheless. I'm actually surprised that item's still in the item pool, but okay. Um, Monster Hunter Frontier? Nope. Uh, I don't even know what Monster Hunter Frontier is. Uh, but, like, a, a next-gen Monster Hunter would be just absolutely amazing along the way. It'd be, it'd be fun. Um, just because, I don't know, it just, it just feels like, it's almost criminal to be fighting, like, massive massive monsters of like death and destruction and you know to have them be low polygon low texture and stuff like that and you know just low special effects because whatever platform you're playing with just can't handle it oh boy i need to find a key and i need to find one fast unfortunately 
Okay, good. They're over here. Let's clear house. Actually doing fairly a fairly good job here, regardless of the fact that I can't dig at all. Stuff like that. But, uh, so as far as, like, the Diablo thing, what I wanted to do was start with Diablo 1, do Diablo 2, 3, 4, well, there's no 4, but, you know, Diablo uh, 1, 2, and 3 with expansions, and then maybe do kind of like a, a survival version where, you know, all of us are, all of us are trying to, all of us are in hardcore mode, and effectively it's just like Last Man Standing. I would love to do a Last Man Standing series in a number of games. Uh, I think Diablo would be a very good, very good way of doing it. I'm trying to think of like other games that would actually work well with a Last Man Standing situation. I guess you could also just Last Man Standing game race things. So you know, everybody say trying to race through the new Wolfenstein game or Halo, or like Halo or whatever, and just any time you die, you put down you put down your mouse and then you know spectate everybody else or something. Because I think that would actually be kind of an interesting way of doing it. Uh, but, like, a hardcore survival, um, a hardcore survival, like, Diablo, uh, cooperative series, I think, would be an absolute blast. Up until, you know, I die because of some stupid-ass reason, and then proceed to sit out of my own series for the next, like, ten episodes, as somebody else turns out to be a complete savant at the uh, Diablo games. Or is cheating. That is also entirely true. Or possible and stuff like that. <clears throat> but, I don't know. I, I just... I think there are a lot of fun things that can be done with, like, online multiplayer and stuff like that. It's just, oh god, organizing people is a nightmare. And honestly, just not everybody has everything. Like, I don't even have Reaper of Souls, uh, because I don't even feel like spending 20 bucks on it. Because I I bought Diablo 3 full price and managed to put, what, 7 hours into it? I guess that's not, a, that's not a terrible price differential, but compared to the amount of money I spent on Diablo 2, and the amount of time I got out of Diablo 2, it felt like an absolute jip. Which is kind of a shame, but still. Okay. Let's see. Huh. So there's like a... Monster Hunter MMO? I'll have to take a look at that. Unfortunately, I don't get the... Well, can't exactly stay. Uh, hello. How much are you? Worth it? Absolutely worth it. Let's see if I can get more, more money here. The answer is yes. Oh, the answer is yes. I don't think I'm going to be able to make more than this. But that said, I just went from uh, one shovel to, I want to say, five. Five shovels. Yes. Oh, shoot. Got to pay attention. Going to need a key here. Unfortunately, oh, there, there are the keys. That's actually not a bad position for them. Uh, but that's still concerning. Okay, so I'm just going to dump that there for a second. Okay, we need, we need to somehow get... Just a little bit more cash. Actually, I got it. I I got enough. Perfect. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, crap. Oh, we got it. We got it. Okay, we're clear. Whew! Uh, but no, I, I, I did enjoy Diablo 3. It's just at the time it was bad. This is back when it was, like, ca all cash shoppy and nobody liked it for a lot of reasons and stuff like that. Pre, you know, them fixing it and making it substantially better. And it's one of those that, part of the reason why I want to do the hardcore survival thing um, is to actually go back to every Diablo game, appreciate them for what they are, and then get to Diablo 3 and actually play it. Because uh, I haven't played Diablo 3 seriously in quite a while. I think they also just made my favorite class kind of boring. Um, and I want to go back to it, though. I'm probably going to play Crusader instead. I was always a barbarian guy in Diablo 2 because I really love passive skills in a game. That's part of the reason why I love uh, Cavern Kings and, like, Risk of Rain so much. And Binding of Isaac, because you get all these passive upgrades for your characters that just, you know, slowly make them more and more ridiculous. And no other game really cap... Uh, there aren't a whole lot of games that really capture that, like, OP feel of just, you know, getting all of this random shit that makes you kind of a broken monster of death and destruction. Okay, well, digging's going to be a hell of a lot easier now. This is a lot of stuff. I am still getting that... <clears throat> Scratchy throat. I might actually have to pause and just, like, cough up a lung or something like that. I don't know. Uh, jeez, there's a lot of enemies around here. But, you know what? Shark is more than up, more than up to the task. Also, I think we're about to loop. So there's that. Uh, or is it Templar? I don't even know. Crusader, Templar? Who cares? But, uh, uh, I don't know. Those will probably come at some point. 
unfortunately when we have more time and a consistent group of people because I, I think the biggest stop for like any uh, the biggest reason why I, I never do certain series is just because I can never get the people for it so uh, past couple nights I've been asked have I ever played Mag uh, Magicka and like the reason why I I play I've only played Magicka a little bit because I mean apart from like uh, slight, you know, personality conflicts, it's just hard to organize all four people back together again. Uh, we're doing a, a series on... Oh, what's it? Has he just not hit me? He hasn't. His hitbox is actually small than, uh, smaller than it looks. Um, but, uh, the reason why we haven't gone back to Fantasy Star Online... Wow, look at that. That is weird looking. I don't think I've ever had this many shovels. Um... But, hey, cycle one. I'm probably going to get insta gibbed by some... Uh, ah, Hello! Probably actually should have bought these in an alternating manner, but you know what? Whatever. Who cares? At this point, swords. And hopefully I can get enough money for at least, like, one more, give or take. Uh, <coughs> ah, that actually helps a lot. Yeah, note to self, sometimes coughing is better than just getting a drink um but so like the the biggest problem with anything really just all of my series is always just getting a, a enough consistent you know appearances from everybody involved to continue the series because especially with like rpgs and stuff if somebody misses a session they're behind and like unless they actually put forward like the personal effort to catch back up either you're gonna end up with like wildly mismatched power um power sets which like in monster hunter for example might not be so bad, but, like, if you have one person that's, like, extraordinarily OP in, uh, I guess a good example is, like, any MMO, if you have one person that's, like, super OP, it could be a problem. Or it could not be, it kind of depends on how casual it is. Um, but, I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. We'll get there. We'll get there, and there will be many a series to be fun, uh, fun like having fun with i i guess my hope is with uh monster hunter i'll just be able to get like a whole host of people that i can just pull from and it's just like all right tonight we're gonna hunt this monster and this monster and this monster and just gather what people need and just have fun with it uh because it's also one of those where like it feels like every monster fight is a little bit repetitive but at the same time the, there's kind of a beauty in the repetitiveness because eventually you kind of get the monster fight down to a science and then after a certain point nobody needs the monster anymore so you're like all right i'm done with this i don't have to worry about it so there's that uh, let's see and nothing good from this oh that's okay uh, but no i don't know i guess on the other hand like i don't want to play games that grind too much hey finally a wind leaf there's a lot of, like, basic items that I, I usually rely on that we just did not get our hands on this run, which is kind of insane. Ah, oh, but you know what? It's not a it's not a big deal. Um, but, I don't know. I like grinding in certain games. I like grinding in a lot of games as long as it manages to be entertaining or at least, you know, moderately relaxing in a way. Like, honestly, at this point, this is effectively just grinding for me. There's, there's no real like complicated thought going on it's just kind of like all right here's where we are this is what we're doing and just kind of me appreciating the ride um and maybe maybe that's it maybe that's why i like grinding games a fair amount because i i can appreciate the ride of like here here's how we got to be where we are and here's where we're going and after a certain point it's not like it's not like oh i fought like 50 of these things at this point it's just like how can i optimize this process so it's like it goes faster, clear, clears it out, and, like, how, how much more powerful can I get a result of doing this? So, say, like, World of Warcraft style, it's like, go hunt 50 boars for, like, three gizzards. Uh, gizzards, livers. My bad. That was painful, just because there's no optimization. There's no, there's no powering up. It's not even worth it. It was just pure, unadulterated awful across the board. And, like, that, that quest, for example, just hurts my brain. Uh... Whereas, Maple Maple Story, Maple Story is an interesting uh, example, and I'd actually say I really enjoyed grinding a Maple Story, just because it actually was one of those where I, I could feel like I could optimize the process and make it better and more interesting and stuff like that. And honestly, every once in a while, a hacker would run run by, and it'd always be interesting just seeing the sheer amount of shit that just got dumped on the ground by the hacker. 
because uh, that, that was always like a consistent thing of me just running around and becoming, I mean, comparatively exorbitantly wealthy just as a result of this hacker existing, which I, I kind of appreciated in a lot of ways. That said, it was not specifically uh, that interesting of a game and I quickly quit, but it's kind of one of those where it's like, I, c I can see the appeal for playing that game. And honestly, if I could find the people that were interested enough in it, I'd probably get people together for one night of just like dicking around in Ma Maple Story because I think they made it a little, a lot easier to like level and have fun with the game. Uh, but still, but I don't know. There's a lot of there's a lot of games that I think are going to go that route. Uh, you know, games that we'll just play for a night and have fun with. But I don't know if I ever if I ever get to the point where I'm actually working with people on a consistent basis. Oh man, we're going to have so many just game nights all the time. That'd be nice. <laughs> Uh, that's a that's a weird I issue. Like, I, I always kind of go back to this. I might actually die here. Because uh, we're not healing fast enough. And these guys are doing quite a lot of damage to us. Eh, you know what? I could probably just escape the level. Where's the fun in that? Wow, yeah. Oh, it's because we're not killing enough things. So our damage is actually comically low compared to what it usually is. Okay, now now's a good time for me to exi uh, exist. Escape. Okay, whoa. Well, that thing is massive. Let's just murder these and get some money. We still don't have any Dracul blood. If I can get Dracul blood, I'd, I'll be a happy camper. Let's just kind of plant ourselves in the way. Because I don't want to... Oh, oh, that's the acid damage. That's not healing for me. But we're actually getting some health here. I think that thing's like 5,000 gold to open up. But you know what? I'm hoping it's worth it. It might be. Probably isn't all in all, but it might be, and that's that's effectively the main reasoning why I'm going to open it up. It's worth it's six thousand five hundred to open that thing. Damn, that's ridiculous. And I remember back when uh, they were like a common thing to open up, just because you had so much money. Jeez, I lost like half of my health in one hit. It were probably going to die just as a result of one of those guys. Happens. Uh, but, uh, oof. Okay, never mind. Not buying it. I don't actually have enough money to buy all of these Tomes of Secrets. That is unfortunate. Ah, uh, man, if I if I had gotten these sooner, we would be swimming in uh, so many so many items. Yeah, well, I, I'm gonna see if I can drop this thing down with me. I'm not gonna give up on it or anything like that, but I think we're it's gonna come pretty close and stuff like that. Let's see. Sort of want to watch Wanderbot Wanderbot play. You don't know Jack with Bird. Ah, uh, you know what? We could do that. It'd be kind of awkward. And hard to do, but I think we could do that. Because uh, I actually have the uh, the Jack in the Box, uh, the Jackbox pack, uh, on Steam. Uh, we we did uh, we did Drawful a while back. That would be kind of fun. Uh, but no, we could actually probably set up some kind of some kind of you don't know Jack Drawful night. Unfortunately, like a lot of people who don't want to play with us, and like the logistics of it, logistics of it with like just people that I know is hard enough already. Uh, the logistics of it with a bunch of people that I don't know is even harder. That's part of the reason why, like, a, uh, Cards Against Humanity would be kind of hard to work with. Uh, that's why games like Agario are perfect. Or actually, uh, just kind of a general heads up for people. If, uh, if people get into... Oh, what's it called? If people want to get into Sky Saga, which I, I guess is a Minecraft-like. I mean, it's a voxel digger adventure game. Honestly, it feels a little bit more cube worldy than Minecraft. Uh, but if people want to get into that and like get into the Elfin stuff, we're probably going to be streaming that soonish uh, as like a as a a thing, uh, either Cat Day or whatever. And that will be open lobby just because there's there's no limit to the number of people that can join the world. Uh, so we'll probably just be like, yeah, just join off of me. Show up in uh, show up in the the. Um, not the arena we're in, but like show up, show up in the adventure world we're running around in, and just everybody just dogpiles a, a dungeon effectively. You hurt more than a little. I'm actually kind of hoping I get like a really powerful item from this guy as opposed to something painfully generic. Okay, I am red ring. I'm not getting red ringed of death. That's not at all accurate to what's going on. He actually does not do enough damage to me to beat out my healing. I think. Okay, what do we get? We get a pile on of frost. That's acceptable, and I don't get enough money to open that thing up. That's okay. Uh, but, I don't know. Might not be everybody's cup of tea. 
but I think it would be kind of a fun game. We're, we, I recorded three episodes of it actually the other day, and I'm probably gonna put the, start putting them up uh, immediately just because, what? It can't, it followed me. Weird. Um, but uh, we recorded three episodes of it earlier, and it was actually really fun. Like, it was super casual, and we spent a lot of time just digging for resources because, uh, uh, but there, there was something beautiful in the, like, simplicity of the whole game. And it actually has fairly good melee combat for a Minecraft-like. Uh, even though, again, more cube world than Minecraft, which is a very good thing. I want my hang gliders, though, damn it. It's, I mean, it's called Sky Saga, and there's no flying. You just have, like, islands in the sky sometimes, which is silly, to say the least. <coughs> should probably pay attention to the game while I'm coughing. Ah, uh, but still. Let's see. Oh, shoot. Well. I don't know if I'm ever getting to... I, I don't think I'm ever going to open up that golden chest. I'm going to keep trying. Uh, getting those... Those gilded... Uh, those resplendent vials. Super crucial to doing so, but I don't, I don't know when it's going to happen. I mean, we're getting a fair amount of money here. I think I should just buy more resplendent vials. I cannot believe this is messy. This is messy and not appreciated. We're actually going to die in this room. I can just guarantee that right now. Uh, you know, we might be okay. It's hard sell. Absolute hard sell, because these guys have a lot of health and do a lot of damage, and they're very hard to avoid because there's so much of it. Okay, I'm just leaving now. I don't even care about the golden chest of mystery and wonder. So I prefer survival or something. Stuff like that. Uh, is it different enough for Minecraft to even try it? I mean, the reality of the situation is, unlike Minecraft where you're effectively trying to like just sandbox your way through things, uh, Sky Saga feels more like kind of you go through progressive dungeons, mining resources, and like collecting loot to effectively expand your armory and level up uh, to get to like better and more dangerous worlds so you can do like more dangerous dungeons. A huge component of the game is dungeons, uh, where Minecraft does not have the same. So, uh, you know, maybe not as complicated as, like, a lot of people would like, but it's actually surprisingly complicated. The only reason why I say Minecraft is, I mean, they hand you a pickaxe pretty much from the start, and, you know, you gotta figure it out from there. You terrify children. Ooh, you all terrify children. Let's leave before that gets any worse. Oh, hey, this level is not gonna last for long. Uh, I can already say that with absolute confidence and stuff like that. But I don't know. I don't know if if uh, it's going to be for everybody. But it's a good way for people to get in, like. It's a good way for people that want to play with me to actually play with me. That and like Robocraft worked, and Agario, and I'm trying to think of like other good games that are fairly open lobby. Like you don't have to worry about player caps or anything like that. And I'm having trouble thinking of things. Um, but uh. Yeah, no, it, it doesn't really try to be Minecraft at all. It just lets... I, I guess it's kind of like if you took a semi-simplistic dungeon crawler, gave it, you know, Minecraft-like digging, and, like, kind of resources, and then effectively it's like, alright, now here's a bunch of dungeons that you have to go raid to progress in the world. But you can destroy the dungeon to, like, clear the dungeon faster. I, I think that's, that's the main draw with it for me. That it's really satisfying to be like... I can't figure out how to progress in this dungeon. Let's just uh, fuck up the wall because this is what we do. Okay. Now I have to make a decision and I've made said decision. Oh, hey. I actually bought them all. Yes. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get enough money here, but getting a bunch of those hopefully is going to guarantee us some new power-ups. The Gilded Vials might have actually been a better investment overall. Hard to tell. Uh, so I'm just going to keep... Seeing if I can get one more of these. Perfect. I'm not gonna uh, attempt any more. Okay, that was that was actually really close to death. But hopefully I can actually get some power-ups here and there. Did I just level? I did just level, actually. Surprising. We might actually be able to get this chest as well. It's hard to do. Oh, but we did it, and we get a Phoenix Trail. Alright, getting getting those books of secrets probably was a good idea. Okay. Uh but I don't know. It's fun. Uh, it's hella casual, but I like casual, honestly. Ca casual games, like, I play a lot of, like, really hard roguelikes, but, um, I really like, like, playing casual games with friends. Things where we don't have to try very hard, 
Nobody has to get angry at each other. There's no competitiveness to it. Or the competitiveness is purely just artificial that we made up for fun. Um, it's part of the reason why, like, I'm not super keen on trying MOBAs, like Heroes of the Storm and whatnot, because it's just like, I could, but I get the feeling that I'm not going to regret it terribly, but it's just going to be one of those where it's like, in the, in the end, I'm not entirely sure how happy I'm going to be for doing so. That said, when Gigantic finally freaking comes out, I am absolutely sold on uh, getting a group together for that one. Because that game's going to be absolute blast. Should probably get a group together for, um, oh, what's it called? Orcs must die in Chained at some point. I really wanted to kill that thing. It did not want to die. Oh, shoot. I wanted to, wanted to bust up that spiky block. No luck, though. Oh, well. Let's see if I can get to Cycle 2. That would be actually kind of cool if uh, the Golden Guns actually work in this game. I don't know if they do or not. Uh, I think that would be kind of a neat feature. I also need way more clumps of iron, because we do not have we do not have the base DPS to deal with most things at this point. I do a lot of damage, but it just takes a while to kill things. Oh, well. Yeah, Brawl Hall is a lot of fun. Here's the storm is really casual. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> not Catacomb Kids. Honestly, tonight's Catacomb Kids was, uh, apart from a couple of frustrating deaths here and there, it was actually comparatively fairly casual, which I appreciated uh, a lot. Um, but I think it's also kind of one of those with, like, roguelikes. They're hard, and they're stressful, and, like, sometimes I get, like, hella salty about them, but ultimately there's kind of a... There's kind of a simplicity in res the resignation that you're going to inevitably die in the game, so it's just kind of like, alright, let's see how far I can get. So, for example, Vigante tonight. I was trying really hard to, to win, and stuff like that. <laughs> Said Brawlhalla. I don't, I don't know how we're going to do Brawlhalla. Maybe I'll do, like, a fan tournament or something like that. And then, you know, have the Tweedledee, Tweedledum, me and my YouTube buddy team. At which point we'll get the shit kicked out of us because we don't play Brawlhalla. That'd be kind of a fun way to do it. Uh, as the last opponent for the winning team to fight. And just, you know, comically roll over. I, you know what? That's probably actually going, going to be what happens. Uh, but, no, I, I'm going I'm going to do... I'll do Brawlhalla at some point. It might also be one of those where I only open it up to people with microphones so I, I can actually, like, turn it into... Not a series, but I can actually... Oh, man, that would be cool if we could almost shoutcast it in a way. I have no idea how it would be done, but it would be cool. I wonder if there's spectator mode, because I'd love that. Uh, I will have to take a look at these things. I'm still salty about them not hiring me, but, I mean, whatever. Ultimately... You can't, you can't hold on to grudges about that, especially in the video game market, because there's so many video games that have to be played. More resplendent vials. This is this is a beautiful thing. This run might go on for quite a while. Buckle up and stuff like that. Oh, hey, my hat's gone. What is this bullshit? Hey, finally, Scattershot. I was wondering when that was going to pop up. Ah, uh, but I don't know. There's, there's a lot of, like, cool, fun, casual games that I'd like to get into. Uh, Smite may, might not be that casual, but I think Smite's... Of all of the MOBAs available, Smite's probably the closest to the one that I really want to play. Maybe I'll get into the Hero Heroes of the Storm. Maybe I won't. That remains to be seen a little bit. Okay. Well, we finally got hit in. I don't think he's going to be able to hurt us enough to be able to take us out, though. The Eyeball Guy, I think, is the one boss I'm truly, truly concerned about. Ooh, you hurt. You hurt quite a lot. <coughs> yeah, note to self, spend like an hour tomorrow just clearing your throat, Wanderbot, because apparently I'm just like stuffed up and congested or something. I guess the weather's been all sorts of weird and muggy, uh, so there'd be, there'd be that. There is a spectator mode. Okay, cool. That'd actually be kind of fun to shoutcast, like a fan tournament or something like that. I've never shoutcasted before, and I, I think I would really enjoy being effectively, you know, kind of the game game commentator, but for other people playing as well. I think that would be kind of a cool way of doing it. Okay, so I've got a lot of money. Let's just buy poison! Poison for everybody! Because I can't see dicks, let's just let's just buy more of these things. Okay, let's buy a, a phoenix thing, even though it probably doesn't affect my damage that much. Is there anything else here that I... Let's not go that direction. That that place is, uh... Realm of Horrors. Okay, so if I sit directly on top of the shop, I don't have to worry about too much. I think, and we can keep buying Phoenix Feathers. Oh, this works. Oh, hey, money. And I'm probably going to leave soon because this place is, well, 
super dark and I, I hate it when it's dark in here. Okay. Uh, let's see. 